Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I always like to, um, to myself call the responsibility if, if I have a chance to, uh, especially um, just kind of what we've been going through um, last couple of weeks. And I, and I guess this week was an important week to just kind of everybody coming together uh, and, and just believing in each other and, um, you know, me just keep believing in myself and just kind of get these some of the dumb misses um, out the way and just kind of you know, hope to catch fire again. I chunked it. It was just kind of like a, a less thing I had in my mind that it was going to be short, you know, just especially indoors. So I kind of chunked the, the turf there and, and it was dead straight, but just didn't get the juice. So it was just, just dumb that, you know, the things are happening. So we just kind of keep ironing it out and, and, and grinding to, to get back on the, on the road. Yeah, I, I was when it we got closer towards the end that we completed that first down. I was just kind of mad. They're like, "Oh, we're gonna score a touchdown. I'm not gonna get the chance," you know, which is good for the team. But I was I was being selfish that way. So I'm glad they they took a knee and, and gave me the opportunity. But it's really uh, it was a team win from the performances on the offense and defense. Yeah, I mean, he's he's awesome. He just kind of predicted it was going to come down to a kick. You know, it, against the Lions, they played tough, and then we, we we have close games, so always have that feeling that it's going to come down to to a kick. And I hate to leave points out of the board there with that 53. So he's just like, you know, you're you're a leader on this team. Uh, you know, you're a weapon, and we're going to need you to. And you're going to get the chance to kick this, um, you know, this game away, and and kind of what happened. So he just he's awesome. He's only has encouraging things to say. So hearing that from him definitely sparks your confidence. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, you know, that was a kick that I had to try different steps for sure. Um, just a bit outside of the range there in, in, in that situation, in, in, in that weather. Uh, so I try, you know, who, who knows you know, if I would have caught it perfectly. So I try to kind of kick it off um, when I'm doing kickoff steps on that. Um, but it didn't affect how when I came back and in, in, in practicing and uh, how I've been hitting warm, warm ups and stuff. It just kind of everything felt normal again. It's just but then you know kind of some the misses kind of came in and you just have to put them behind you and, and, and you know hope to use this as a as a fire to keep keep going. Yeah, definitely. You know, Baltimore, I missed one earlier um, and, and I didn't have a chance to kick another field goal there uh, to kind of get that off off of me. And luckily it was a short week that I didn't have to wait till Sunday. So kind of came in fast and, and had the opportunity to having a good game up until that 53, which was just kind of a fluke. And I just looked at it as like, OK, like it's a close game. I have to bounce back right away. So it's good when they happen fast rather than just, you know, you not get a chance in the game or you wait till the whole week. And um, so we're just fortunate to get that chance. Yeah, we know there are distractions and, and we hate to affect the, how we, we look at our, our, our guys in the room. We, we love each other. Uh, we root for each other. We don't want anybody to, to fail so this you know, thing can get better. We believe in the guys here, and you know, we we shown that we can win with this team. So, and sometimes you just don't execute and things like that. So, and distractions, I think, they uh, they come without your control, and they just have to look at the guys in the room and, and kind of hug each other. And that's that's what we did uh, throughout the week, and, and come out here and, and having the chance to get back on the winning streak. Uh, you know, in, in this type of game, uh, meant a lot. I think to, to the guys in the locker room. I'm gonna leave that in the room. Um, just I, I just don't think uh, I should talk about it. Uh, I think he maybe can address you guys. Uh, but like, it just I just want to you know, say that you know we love each other in the room. That that's kind of how I feel. Um, the vibe in there uh, from the coaches uh, to the players um, and vice versa. So it's kind of what I have to say. Yeah. I 
I think any time you come indoors, uh, it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a juice, you know, uh, that you know, the ball's going to fly straight. You know, guys usually are, are sharp indoors uh, because there's no bad elements. Um, but I think it's a testament too. I mean, the, the Lions, they, they're, a t they're a tough team. They play hard when you watch on tape, you know, especially on special teams. They, they do make plays and um, you got to respect them and they keep these games in. And, and you know, I think that you know, just kind of how the, the, the dice roll has been going, um, you know, not in their favor, but I think they're a team that you have to respect when you come in. Um, that's why they, they keep the games close. Yeah, it's great. It's like a breath of fresh air, you know, and we've had opportunities to to um, put games away in the last couple of weeks. Um, but there's no pointing fingers. That's what I love about the room and just, you know, just kind of put your head down and keep working. And, and we know that, the, you know, the, it was, we're going to switch this thing around. So we just got to use that, how we battled with this week and uh, for motivation to, uh, you know, take on Arizona and forward. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you guys.